Human papillomavirus, or HPV, infects 13 million people every year. While most infections will resolve on their own, 36,000 cases of cancer develop because of HPV infection. Here to talk more about this with us today is Dr. Martha Walsh, Senior Medical Director and Associate Chief Medical Officer with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me, Emily. Well, there is a vaccine to prevent HPV. It's been around for 15 years now, but still there are some myths about there about it. So let's talk about the first one. HPV is uncommon. Yeah, I think it's important to know that actually HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection. So every year, about 13 million Americans will have a new infection of HPV. But, you know, from the rest of the population, about 42 million people are, are regularly infected with HPV and walking around with it. So it's extremely, it's an extremely common infection. And that's why it's so important to be vaccinated against HPV. Let's talk about another myth. HPV only causes cervical cancer in in women. Yeah, I think, you know, one of the reasons that um, that myth is really prevalent is because I think many of us have known for a long time that HPV was associated with female cancers like cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, and vulvar cancer. But the reality is that it can cause other types of cancers in both sexes, so men and women. And those include, you know, oral pharyngeal cancer, which is a mouth and throat type of cancer, and also um, anal cancer. So those can be, both men and women can be exposed um, to HPV and develop those types of cancer. And actually, oral pharyngeal cancer is on the rise. Um, the primary reason why people used to get that is from smoking, and that um, is decreasing, but HPV-associated mouth and throat cancer is actually increasing. So it's really important that both boys and girls be vaccinated. That is interesting. Okay, here's another myth. The HPV vaccine causes fertility issues. Yeah, so, you know, in the United States, we've given over 138 million doses of the HPV vaccine to date, and they follow adverse events associated with um, vaccinations very closely. And there's been no association with infertility and the HPV vaccination. So I think it's really important to note that. Um, the other thing that I think is important is that when women um, develop cervical cancer or precancers that they can develop from HPV, the treatments for precancer and cancer actually can cause issues with fertility and the ability to carry a pregnancy to term. So in many ways, getting the HPV vaccination helps um, you know, to, uh, to continue your fertility options. Yeah, protect that fertility. So only people who are sexually active will need the HPV vaccine. Another myth, let's talk about that. Yeah, just like I was saying earlier, um, you know, it's a much more effective vaccine when you give it before anyone's ever been exposed or infected with HPV. So that's why we recommend it at a young age. Um, you know, I have parents ask me, like, should they vaccinate their 11 and 12 year old kids? And when we have that conversation, I say, you know, I know it's really scary to think about vaccinating your child against a sexually transmitted infection. You don't want to think about your 11 or, or 12 year old becoming sexually active. But I think the reality is, that we all want our kids when they're adults to be in a healthy sexual relationship. And, you know, the reality is that they would likely get exposed to HPV in that situation. And so by vaccinating them at 11 or 12 years old, you're really protecting them as an adult um, from becoming infected with HPV and preventing cancers associated with HPV. Yeah, it's about protection. Okay, our last myth, the HPV vaccine only prevents genital warts. Yeah, so the, what's important to know is the HPV vaccine actually does help to prevent genital warts. So it does protect against the two types of the virus most likely to cause genital warts, but it also um, protects you against the seven types of the virus that are most likely to cause different types of cancers. Um, so we really think about the HPV vaccination as cancer prevention. You know, I was talking to a pediatrician friend of mine and I asked her when she has parents that are hesitant to give the HPV vaccination, I asked her what she said in that situation. And she said, she said to them, if there was a vaccine for breast cancer or colon cancer, would you give that to your child? And they uniformly say yes. And so in that situation, she says, I want you to think of this also as cancer prevention because it really is cancer prevention. Very good information, Dr. Martha Walsh from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much.